Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital Thursday, June 6 Spoilers Jocelyn's Lifeguard Accident Chase Confronts Finn Maxie's Violet Crisis General Hospital, E.H. Spoilers for Thursday, June 6 Reveal that Jocelyn Jacks, Eden McCoy will have a somewhat disastrous encounter while working as a lifeguard at the Metro Court Pool. Since Giovanni Gio Palmeri, Giovanna Maza, is set to begin a new job, perhaps he'll become a pool employee and make quite a splash on his first day thanks to Jocelyn. Jocelyn will apologize after she most likely knocks Gio into the pool by mistake, so this could be a chance for them to get to know each other better once they laugh it off. As for Trina Robinson, Tabiana Ali, she'll make a pitch to someone on Thursday's GH episode before she ultimately has an unsettling run-in. If Gio comes to Trina's rescue, then he might have an opportunity to get to know her too. Next Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, and Damien Spinelli, Bradford Anderson, will have a family bonding experience during their own day at the pool but there will be a bit of a crisis involving someone else's kid. Namely Hamilton Finn's, Michael Easton daughter. Violet Finn, Jophia Love, will admit she's worried about her dad, so she'll ask if Maxie thinks he's okay. It'll be easy to see how concerned Violet is about Finn, so Maxie will do her best to give her some extra love and support. Speaking of Finn, Harrison Chase, Josh Swickard, just caught him downing shots after the memorial service, so it looks like he'll confront Finn soon enough. Finn won't know if he could have done what Chase did since his brother really stepped up to lead the service. Although Finn may think Chase needs to cut him some slack since this is such a difficult day, Chase will fret over the boozy road that Finn's headed down. Once Chase updates Brooklyn Quartermain, Amanda Sutton, on the situation, she'll admit she was afraid something like this would happen. Chase will wonder why Brooklyn didn't say anything, but she may argue that she didn't want to overstep. Whatever the case, both Chase and Brooklyn will realize that Finn's sobriety issues are becoming a bigger problem. It won't be long until Finn takes a random woman named Bard, Devin Ogden, home with him, so Elizabeth Baldwin, Rebecca Herbst, We'll catch them looking too cozy by the end of the week. In the meantime, Christina Corinthos Davis, Kate Mancy, will stand up to Natalia Ramirez, Eva Leru, at the recording studio. Although Natalia may think it's best if Christina leaves, Christina will feel like Blaze Aka Allison, Ali Rogers, Jacqueline Grace Lopez, should decide for herself what she wants. General Hospital spoilers say Christina and Blaze will get their relationship back on track, so our predictions point to Natalia fuming over that news. The atmosphere in General Hospital was thick with tension as Thursday, June 6, unfolded with a series of dramatic events that kept everyone on edge. At the swimming pool, Jocelyn Jacks was enjoying her lifeguard shift the sun glinting off the water as she watched over the swimmers. The early afternoon had been relatively calm, giving her a rare moment to relax and enjoy the job she had taken up to distract herself from the myriad of personal issues she was dealing with. But just as she was about to take a sip of her water, she noticed a commotion in the deep end. A young boy, no older than ten, was struggling to stay afloat. Jocelyn's training kicked in instantly. She blew her whistle, alerting everyone to clear the pool, and dove in without hesitation. The water was a blur as she swam towards the boy, her heart pounding in her chest. She reached him just in time, grabbing him securely and swimming back to the edge of the pool. As she pulled him out and began CPR, the crowd that had gathered watched in stunned silence. Just as the boy coughed up water and began to breathe, Jocelyn felt a sharp pain in her ankle. She had twisted it in the rush to save the boy. Trying to stand, she winced and almost fell, but another lifeguard caught her. The boy's parents rushed over, thanking her profusely, 
But Jocelyn's mind was now on her injury. She needed to get it checked out. There was no telling how bad it might be. Meanwhile, over at General Hospital, Harrison Chase was pacing the hallways, his mood growing darker with each step. He had just found out that his brother, Dr. Hamilton Finn, had been hiding something significant from him. Ever since their father's passing, Chase had felt the weight of responsibility and family secrets pressing down on him. And now, it seemed, there was another layer of deceit. Chase finally spotted Finn coming out of a patient's room, a look of weariness etched on his face. Without wasting a moment, Chase marched up to him. We need to talk, Chase said, his voice low and filled with suppressed anger. Finn sighed, already sensing the confrontation. Chase, can it wait? I've had a really long day. No, it can't, Chase snapped back. Why didn't you tell me about Violet's condition? Why am I always the last to know? Finn's face fell. The secret was out. Violet, his daughter, had been diagnosed with a rare condition, and he had been trying to find a way to break the news gently. But now, confronted by his brother, there was no turning back. It's complicated, Chase, Finn began. I wanted to protect you. Protect everyone. Chase's eyes blazed with frustration. Protect me. By keeping me in the dark? That's not protection, Finn. That's betrayal. As the brothers stood there, their argument echoing down the corridor, Maxie Jones was dealing with a crisis of her own. She had just received a call from her nanny, informing her that Violet was running a high fever and seemed unusually lethargic. Panic surged through Maxie as she rushed to get to Violet, her thoughts racing. When Maxie arrived at the daycare, she found Violet lying on a small bed, her little face flushed and eyes half-closed. The sight broke her heart. She scooped Violet up, whispering soothing words, but inside she was frantic. She needed to get Violet to the hospital, and quickly. Back at General Hospital, the emergency room was bustling, as usual. Jocelyn hobbled in, supported by her fellow lifeguard, and was quickly attended to by a nurse. They set her ankle and recommended she stay off it for a few days. Despite the pain, Jocelyn couldn't help but feel a sense of pride for having saved the boy's life. In another part of the hospital, Maxie burst through the doors with Violet in her arms. She was met by a nurse who immediately called for Finn. He arrived moments later, his face a mask of concern as he took Violet from Maxie and carried her into an examination room. Is she going to be okay? Maxie asked, her voice trembling. We'll do everything we can, Finn assured her, though his own fear was barely concealed. Chase, who had been following Finn, watched from the doorway, his anger momentarily forgotten as he saw the state of his niece. Family was complicated, but in moments like these, it was also everything. As the day turned into evening, the hospital's rhythm seemed to slow, but the emotions running through its halls were as intense as ever. Jocelyn was discharged with instructions to rest, Finn worked tirelessly to stabilize Violet, and Chase stood by, a mix of emotions churning within him. In the midst of all this, Maxie sat in the waiting area, her thoughts a whirl of worry and hope. She prayed silently for Violet's recovery, her mind drifting to the tangled web of relationships and secrets that seemed to define life in Port Charles. By the time the night had fully descended, there was a fragile calm over General Hospital. Jocelyn was back home, her ankle propped up, reflecting on the day's events.